can spot anything from the air that looks like a command center, James. Well, one thing we know about Drake, nothing's as it seems on the surface. Looks abandoned. All the more reason to investigate. No reception committee. The system's active. We need a comm link. See if you can patch in. Why do I have the feeling we're about to split up again? This shaft's drawing air, and I have a good idea why. Inform MI6 of our location. I'll be in touch, Allura. Man, it does feel like forever since we've actually just been on an on-foot mission. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to James Bond 007 Nightfire. Oh, shit, thanks. This episode, we are on... We are, we're sneaking into the Phoenix base, and we've got a wonderful weapon, which is this, the Delta Repeater. Or, as I read this weapon for years after I first got the game, Delta Repelter. may have penetrated our security. Lock down the sector at once and deactivate all access codes but my own. Right away, Mr. Ashi. I'm going to do a full sweep of this facility. Remain at your post and stay alert. Understood, Mr. Ashi. James, I've hacked into the terminal and got access to their internal systems. A lot of it has been locked out, but oh, I can't access good job. the security Are we going to go into cockshot mode again? Pico it's is very our only possible. Option. She's locked out all other clearances. You'll need to find her and stay close. Oh, yeah, so the Delta Repeater has got a wonderful ability. You can see through camera here, which is pretty cool. Um, Delta Repeater will do a one-shot on any thing it hits. So when you see these um, laser safeguards, hit the green panel with your laser, and you will take them offline. If you hit the red panel, I'm not actually sure necessarily what happens, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's bad. Delta Repeater is the best way to proceed with this level, just because... Oh, shit. Just because it is both powerful. Oh, shit bags. It's powerful and you've got a decent amount of ammo for it. Like any. The idea is it's a crossbow that fires poison darts, so any shot that hits with it. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. Oh! Any shot that hits is 100% kill. Um, I think there are some strange exceptions to that rule, but mostly it is the case. Oh, bugger. Uh, I've run out of ammo on it, which is not great. Oh god, these guys have actually got a lot of health. I mean, back onto the M9K, which you haven't used in since... Uh, what was it called? The Mission in the Austrian Castle. Um, the Exchange. Oh. And I'm not sure if we're actually going to get any Delta Repelter ammo for the rest of this. As I say, it is officially... It's called the Delta Repeater, but I call it the Delta Repelter. And yeah, a friend of mine, when we were at school, he started a band, as people do when you're at school. And the band was called Delta Repeater, oh, and... Portal. So he was a guy who, him and I, he lived next door to me, and we spent a Delta Sector. Oh shit. Um, we spent a lot of our time playing Nightfire. Like, he was as good as me, if not better than Nightfire. Like, that. I don't want to imply that I'm good at Nightfire. I'm not. But he was the same kind of skill level as me. Oh, bugger. And as such, like, we, paid, we spent a lot of time, like, we. Hours. Like, I would say well over. Into the hundreds of hours. Um, we spent um, playing Nightfire together, and he was he was the guy I already spent most time of anyone playing Nightfire with, and we fucking love this game so much. And that's oh, that's camera view only, um, and then yeah, he <laughs> out of nowhere, we hadn't played Nightfire for a good year or so ish at that point, and then he like invited me to like a page on Facebook, and he was like, oh yeah. My new page called Delta Repeater. I was like, that's a fucking reference, isn't it? He was like, yep, totally is. <laughs> it was fucking fantastic. Uh, let's grab some of that ammo because I really need this. Oh, God, we have to decrypt these. Have I got the decryptor with me? Uh, there we go. That, right, that's, we've got two of them to do. Oh, bugger me. This bastard, get the fuck away from me. Ugh. Oh, remote mine, that's not helpful right now. Right, fucking, let's... Oh, my God. There's so many of them! This is ludicrous! Get the fuck away from me. Oh, have I not... Have I got enough time to reload? That doesn't seem fair. Oh, I've reloaded twice. That's definitely not fair. Um, I meant to switch to the M9K, which got actually quite a lot of ammo there. Let's keep that on the M9K and switch to the Crypta. There we go. 
Take two. But yeah, Bob and I used to play a lot of Nightfire. So basically, I'm not going to be able to show off during this Let's Play just because I've not got anyone here with me. And also <laughs> because it's um, three minutes past 12 on Sunday night. So obviously there's no one here with me because we're all in work tomorrow morning. <laughs> Including me. Oh, I actually want to point to that. Oh, is it not going to just decrypt, is it? Um, but the multiplayer on this game is fantastic. It handles very much like the single player, except you've got, like, potentially, I think you've got a maximum of, like, five players against five, or maybe six against six. Um, oh, fuck me, that's a lot of ammunition. Holy tits. So, we've got a lot of ammunition for, well, we've got the laser trip bomb, which you place it, and then basically on the surface you place it. Here's a great example. Throw that there, get out of the way. And you've got a laser. Anyone crosses that laser, the bomb blows up where the bomb is. Not particularly useful in single player, but you know, there we go. We've also got, we had from the start, the remote mine. Chuck the remote mine, and then switch to alternate. F you can throw as many as you want, or as many as you've got, but if you hit remote, like alternate fire, and then hit detonate, they blow up. And then what we got there was a lot of ammo for the Ames 20, which is a big gun here. So you've got like a thermal camera, which is cool. And you've got gun shots in burst. And then if you hit B, you switch, well you normally switch your grenade launcher mode, but apparently we've not got any grenades for it. So it's just on burst, which is still pretty good. It's a powerful weapon. Um, he's got a powerful weapon. A shot worth a million pounds. Oh, bugger me, that's a light right there, isn't it? Right. Let's see if I can get into that. That's a security room. Get straight into that. Oh, look at that, wonderful. Um, so let's laser this security panel. And once again, laser the green, not the red. Everyone's happy. The alarm system is offline, which means I can basically walk through those um, cameras without setting anything off. I am going to, just for security's sake, because I'm a paranoid bastard, leave a laser trip bomb behind me. I don't think anyone ever actually follows you on this, but laser trip bombs are... Oh, I fucked myself. Oh, do I have to go back that way? Motherfucker! Is this literally where I came in? Have I just done a fucking loopy swoop? If so, I'm gonna be real mad. Oh god. Well, if I set this off over here. That's what I was saying about the explosion is where the mine is. Oh bugger. Not where the actual Um the, the explosion is where the mine is rather than where the laser is, so you can you yourself can dodge it relatively easily. Right, let's see what we can do about this guy. The moment you stand up, son, you're dead. Warned you. Should have listened, my friend. Right, the cameras are all relatively superfluous at the moment. Did it say Kiko was on corridor A12 or A8? It's definitely one of those. Let's follow A8 for now. Well, there's nap all that way, so it's not going to be that, is it? Oh, this is also A8. That's helpful to know. What did it say on objectives? Follow Kiko. Okay, that doesn't actually help. Ugh. Okay, clearly can't go that way yet. Let's try this way. That's a hard no on that way, so I guess the only way we've got is... Oh, no, actually. There's something this way. And these cameras are all effectively disabled because we fucked up the security center, so, you know, that's something. Oh, another security thing here. Armor, always nice. And a laser for camera systems again. And apparently that's a bond moment, which is nice. Oh, open that, but can I get in through that? I guess I should have come into this room through that hatch rather than leaving it through that. It's not really the very the bond way, is it? Um This room's all fucked up, but once again we've got a camera thing, which I've been to already, by the looks of it. Oh dear. I'm not very good at this game, am I? That button is not very helpful, is it? Uh, here, oh, a new thing, and I'm guessing we've yeah, we've fucking been there, haven't we? Ugh. This thing, I'm 100% walking in circles, but I don't know where the right place to go is. Oh, there we go. Clearly, I found something right there. 
holic bond sneak away like a little bitch. The launch timetable has been moved up. I'm placing the security system into full lockdown. Clear and seal the room. We cannot risk anyone tampering with the control setting. I feel like that would have been a pretty good time for Bond to just, you know, shoot Kiko. Sure, there's something we can go here. We're in a big room with servers. I'm sure there must be some damage to be done. Oh, here we go. Right, let's this power system safeguard B. Let's take that out. Oh fuck me. Okay, that's why you hit the green and not the red. The red kills the shit out of you. Let's really hope that was a checkpoint. Otherwise, I'm gonna be real mad. Well, that's a hard no on that. So let's start again from the beginning. Right, let's try that again. And let's not blow myself up this time. Right. Security B. Let's hit the green and not the red. Wonderful. Um, and I guess the other one is just over here on this side. Let's bring up the old laser and... Bzz. Oh, God. Right. I've got the M9K with a lot of ammo. I'm not seeing anyone, which is... Worrying, actually, because that's a really scary sounding ammunition, uh, not ammunition, alarm. Um, and normally alarms like that, you know, bring a lot of bastardry with them. Huh. Well, by the sounds of that very loud sound, I'm not going that way. Oh, bugger. Oh, God, run, 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 run. I need to get through straight to the middle here before everything explodes. I'm hurrying as fast as I can. Um, he says, not actually knowing where Delta Sector as such is. Oh, bugger. Oh. Unless that's back the way I came. Which it is. Um, Delta Sector. Oh, that was that glowing door I saw ahead of me. Oh, bugger. Right, let's head around this corner. Reload. And let's do a little bit of damage to these guys. Right, reload again. I think we're all good, actually. Oh, bugger. Oh. Um, how are we doing for- Oh, bugger! Christ, there's a lot of them. I'm running low on M9K rounds, and I haven't really got much else to rely on. Um, what have I got? Frag grenade, not great. Remote mine, not great. PP7, I've got a lot of that, but that's also a fucking pistol, so... Oh, bugger! Let's stick me head out again. Oh, alright, okay, let's go for- Actually, let's try that. Oh, oh, fucking run! Okay, let's try that. Let's, I sound like someone died. Let's shoot the fuck out of anyone who survived. There we go. You know that's something. Oh god, guy, come in. Right, and bam, 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 bam. Wait, where the fuck did he go? Sneaky bastard. There we go. Oh, that was apparently enough. Now he's worked his way into the complex. The elite guards will hold the line. I'm going below to cut the power so he can't follow. But if Bond does reach the facility, I'll be sure to thank him for the makeover he gave me. Well, that's apparently how Mr. Rook survived an air, not an airplane, a helicopter going down with him in it. Um, is that it fucked up his face pretty fierce. Um, which is, you know, about what you'd expect for a helicopter crash. Normally this kills the person. Um, oh, bugger me. Christ. Ah, fuck. Someone's got names. Um, don't know where they're coming from. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Panic. There we go. Right. Uh, what have we got? M9... Well, okay, we've got a frag grenade. Let's launch that through the hole and just see what happens. And how much shots have we got in the M9K? Ow, that hurt me, so it must have hurt them. We've got a full clip in the M9K, at least. Oh, my God. Right, did get, that get me... Okay, we've got an M, Ames. Um, oh, we've got two grenades in the Ames. So this is what I was trying to show off earlier. The Ames has got a grenade launcher built in. Um, quite a powerful one, actually. Like, it's as good as throwing a grenade, except it's launched. Oh, fuck me. So you've got the burst mode in there, which is like 30 rounds, like brap brap. And then you've also got on top of that, grenade launcher mode, which is really fucking powerful. I guess they just deliberately haven't given me any grenades up until now. Um, but if you fire it, you can see it's, it's, it's real powerful. You just gotta actually fucking hit the target. Jesus fucking Christ, there we go. God, four grenades to kill one bloke. Oh, bugger me. There's someone else here. Ugh. Well, that's what the burst mode is for. That's the nice thing about it. Ah, the 20mm grenade, I think, is what the aims takes. Wonderful. Yes, it is exactly what the aims take. It's annoying it doesn't say, like, aims ammo. It's like, no, you picked up 
two times 20 millimeter grenade, which is two times aims grenade. Oh, fuck me. Um, here we go, Delta Sector, that's what I want. Oh god, not all objectives completed. Fucking hell. This... Oh, bugger! Oh. <laughs> that was a complete reflex kill. Um, that makes me think, the fact he was there makes me think we want to be here. And yet, there's not all through here. But I heard someone- Oh! That's a scary weapon. Oh, it's Rook! It's Mr. Rook, he's here. Oh, fuck me! Oh, oh god. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here! Oh. Please don't send me back to the beginning of the level. I will kill you. Mother fucker! Oh, you see, this is the issue with places like- like games like, um, this. I had the same issue when me and the boy were recently playing through Return of the King. Games of this era are hard, but they make themselves hard by virtue of lack of checkpoints, rather than actually being hard in a sense of the gameplay is intrinsically difficult. Uh, and this game is unfortunately proving to be a bad example of that. I'm going to just follow these arrows on the ground. I'm sure they take me to where I need to be. At least I know where Mr. Rook's going to be this time. So he doesn't completely surprise up on me. That's also very funny because Mr. Rook was a design and technology teacher at my school. Um, who used to nip out of lessons to go and smoke in the car park. Um... Which is, a, which is a fun story, so Mr. Rook is always a very funny name to me for that reason. We actually never saw this back in um, Night Shift, but he, here are the lasers which you can see only with your thermal goggles. And there is the moment which you can sneak through them. And so we've got a couple of guys here we can take out. And yeah. You can take care of these local guys, and then just as long as you don't trigger this tripwire, you won't summon any further guards beyond that. Oh my god! Oh, explosions. I think this door explodes pretty soon. There we go. Oh, there's bastards. Right, oh. I've got a decent amount of ammo for the M9K, so I'm alright. But I need to be ready to fight Rook, which I was not prepared for last time. Oh my god! Oh, Christ! Oh, run, 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 run. There we go. Let's reload because he's hiding behind a little wall. Oh, my god. Oh. Right. Okay, we've got a decent amount of ammo for this. Have we got the M9K yet? Uh, not the M9K. We know we've got the M9K. Um, what I meant to say is we've got the AIMS 20, but we actually haven't got anything that gives us access to the AIMS. Oh, oh my god. And we've run out of M9K ammo, which is not good. Um, oh shit, bags! Fuck off. Um, and an someone else shoot me there. Well, oh, armor always nice. Um, M9K, we've got oh, another kind of half clip there. Now let's decrypt through this. It's got a gun symbol on the wall, so that makes it feel like it's going to be worth decrypting into. Oh, it sounds like someone's coming though. Oh! Interrupting me, you rude bastard. Right, you, you're also interrupting us. Thank you. Right, let's grab some M9K ammo from these guys. Oh, apparently I've set off Rook. Um, can I get back to that decryption door? Oh god, there's two of them, fucking hell. Um, I'm going to do it anyway because I feel like it's worth it. going to listen out for people coming up though. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, no. Oh, okay, well, I cocked up my decryption. Good one, you fucking prick. You fucking happy, you bastards. Oh, God. Well, I haven't taken much damage from these guys, so... Was that names? Oh, that was names. Wonderful. I've got names. Have I got grenades for it? I've got six grenades for it. Oh, I'm glad you guys threw yourselves at me, because really I'm in a much better position, given that... Is someone still shooting at me? That's a hard no. Cool, let's decrypt. Wonderful! Oh, this was the Ames room I found before. So is this all... 
yeah, this is all like burst ammo for the aims, but it's still good. <laughs> I've got 120 burst shots, which is fantastic. And the old laser trip bomb. Um, I'm going to stick on grenade mode for the aims. Um, because I'm aware of the fucking bullshit laser that Mr. Rook has access to, which I want nothing to do with, quite frankly. Um, and the further I can stay away from Mr. Rook, the better. This is, as I, I well, I mentioned this before, but it's particularly amusing here because Mr. Rook was my old design and technology teacher. Um, oh, there's someone. There is no longer someone, I'm pretty sure. I did it in. There we go. Um... Ba -ba -da -do -do -do. Oh god, someone's much closer. Oh, buggy, you! How the fuck did I miss you? Well, that's quite surprising. Oh. As you can tell, the Ames is a fucking fantastic gun. Um, that you've basically just got. You, the burst ammo is fantastic, and then if you're cornered, you can switch to. Potentially, you can have 12 grenades loaded in it. Like, I've got six, oh, six as primary and five behind that, so it's. It's very powerful, the aims. Um, oh, you. Right, let's open that and just blitz you straight the fuck away. There's someone else coming down here, so as soon as he pokes his head out. Wait, is that Mr. Rook? It is Mr. Rook, because he's firing a fucking laser at us, and no one else has access to that kind of mis weaponry other than Mr. Rook. So let's make sure we're all loaded up on aims grenades, quite frankly. Oh, fuck me! Oh, he's right the fuck there. Oh, right, let's try and sneak around him. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, bugger me. Some cunt snuck up behind me. Don't do that when I'm a fight with a laser bastard. Right, Mr. Rook, are you still here? Oh, and that's a... Oh, bugger me. Discouraging no, but the blue light implies you are not that far away. Which is problematic, to say the least. Oh, there he is. Oh, do him in, do him in. Oh, fuck me. I got him. Mr. Rook is dead. Fantastic. Oh, let's grab the Phoenix Samurai, which is the sweet laser he said. Fantastic thing about the Phoenix Samurai, unlimited ammo. Um, because you can just fire, and all you have to do is wait, if you look in the numbers there, for it to decharge. You have a mode called Overcharge, where, well, I showed off, it's the most powerful weapon in the game. If I press R, it builds up, and when it hits 100, wallop! And that hit is ludicrously powerful, but to be honest, we only really need the beam at the moment, but hey, let's head through to Delta Sector. Oh, it does let me keep my samurai here, that's fantastic. Oh, bugger me, everything's exploding though. So, this will show you how powerful the samurai is. It can take care of almost any enemy in the game in pretty much a hit. Um, where is the trip mine there? It's there, isn't it? Oh, that still hurt me. That's annoying. Uh, oh, bugger me. Oh, God, there's a lot of Phoenix people here. Right, let's let's test out the old overcharge. So you got to wait for it to be zero, and then... Oh, bugger. 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 Get away from me. And three, two, one, fire! Oh, you can just see how much damage it does to those guys. It's a really <laughs> fucking ludicrously impractical weapon to use. But it's so much fun that it's, it's actually worth the stupid cost it requires to actually fire it it's a lot of time it's really just faster to use the beam itself and it's like the samurai is a stupidly powerful weapon like you really should take this off rook if you can um that's it one there and final one there those have taken a bit of my armor off but none of my actual health which is what really matters i feel like i was gonna say if <laughs> there's there's bastards here, they just haven't shown themselves yet. Have I still got the access to the aims? I have actually, yeah, haven't I? It's just... The samurai's got basically unlimited ammo, as in it's that ammo always... Oh, bugger, 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 bugger! Oh! It's ammo always decharges to zero, so it's really worth using the Phoenix Samurai if you can, just because it's so much more efficient rather than more powerful to use than any other weapon. Oh, that's just another ammo hole, I guess. I suppose D2012C is where I'm going. Not 2012, just 12. I can't read, apparently, it appears. Oh, my! There must have been trip mines there. If this takes me back to the beginning of the level, I'm going to kill someone. 
please don't. Come on, take me back to the last loading point. Oh, it's going to... Oh, no, it is. By the looks of the objective, it's giving me an exit to a mega sector. It really makes it sound like it's going to take me to the second section. Oh, why is it... Yeah, good. Wonderful. Otherwise, that would be fucking awful. Because I've been on this... Oh, mission for quite some time. Um, oh, God. People... Generally, go at where people come from. Always a good sign. I'm actually going to take this out from a distance. It's there, and I'm, if I overcharge it, it'll hit. Did that damage me? I feel like that damaged me. Which is, quite frankly, fucking ridiculous. Because I was miles away. But this is a powerful weapon, so that is the risk you take. Right. Um, let's... I'll put the glasses on just so I can... Basically, once you've done that animation once of putting the glasses on, it's actually quicker to turn them on again. Uh, let's go from here. Oh, don't close on me door. Oh, fuck me! I knew that... Oh, I fucking knew that was going to happen. The door was going to fucking close. I was going to make a huge twat of myself. Mother fucker. Ugh. Got frag grenades. I need to use them to destroy trip mines safely. Let's see if a frag grenade can successfully set them off. How did that still hit me? God, these things have a ludicrous range. I mean, it did take out the trip mine, which is good. Um, oh, wow, I've got a lot of grenades on the aims. Actually, actually, the aims is arguably better than the samurai for now, just because grenades are easier to take account for than lasers. Um, right, let's just try that, and bam. Well, that takes out the trip mines. Actually, yeah, the aims is better for taking out the trip mines. But the samurai is better for people, just because it's much more accurate. You can just hit people in one. Brzap! Oh, he says, missing the dude. And then the dude takes four shots. Either I was ludicrously inaccurate here, or he took a alarming number of hits before going down. Um, that is apparently not the way to go. Let's bring up the aims. I'm gonna bring up this just because I've been burned before. Oh shit! Oh bugger me! God, those grenades can be lethal. If the game would like to give me armor, oh bugger me! I wouldn't say no, but I'm guessing that explosion is a hard no from from game on the old giving armor thing. Yeah. Oh god. Um. <sighs> Where's the side that we actually need to get to? Oh, do we need to crawl through this? Open? Nope. So I guess it's just through this door, which is the only door in the room I've not gone through. Yes, yes it is. Oh, probably should have checked for trip wires. And there we go, nothing doing. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Right, let's launch a frag through there. Yeah, <laughs> deal with this, you sneaky little bastard. How did that still hit me? Come on. The range on those grenades is fucking ridiculous. Right, let's just... There's one guy there. Oh, that was quite good. I <laughs> shot him and then jumped through the wall before his shitey grenade that he threw took effect. Um, this is going to be the way through, isn't it? Well, let's just chuck the old grenade and run the fuck away because they have a ludicrous range. What? Come on, that's obscene. Right, how many remote mines do we start with? We have got five remote mines, so let's really take the advantage of them. Get as far the fuck away as we can, and then... Yeah, I'm just going to have to do that. Just be really fucking careful, because apparently the, the detonation range on both frag grenades and trip mines is fucking insane. So... Alright, armor is handy, definitely to have. Right here, let's throw another remote mine. Number two of five. Stand way the fuck back. I think I've learned something. It's very satisfying when you do actually make progression in a game because of techniques you've learned. Oh, bugger me! Oh, I killed the shit out of him, at least. Well, there's armor through there, but it's apparently locked. And there's this guy here. 
he took a surprising number of lasers. That is two. I'm aware of how many of those lasers missed. Um, I guess this way is the way to go then. Yeah. Oh, two explosive barrels, eh? Oh, I should really shouldn't throw a frag grenade because I'm aware of how shitey the range is on them. I'm going to die. I actually managed to avoid that, but fuck, I don't feel like I should have because the range on them is fucking stupid. Oh, bugger me! Doors are no respecter of explosions, so I'm aware that if a grenade comes, doesn't matter if I'm, the, um, if I'm on the other side of a door, it will still fuck me up just as much. Oh, bugger me. Um, I'm not looking too healthy, I'll be honest, here. Yeah. I've got I've got one weird situation where I've got a fair bit of armour, but also I'm dying underneath that. But hopefully that won't hugely matter, question mark, he says. Oh, bugger me, there's a thing there. Um, remote mine. Right, three. How do I set to detonate? I'll just throw a remote mine. Why not let me detonate it? Oh, is it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, let's switch to the old samurai again. Oh, bugger! Oh, bugger me. God, I'm, this game has made me fucking terrified of grenades. Right, there's, oh, bloody hell! Apparently the peephole in that door is perforated, which is bloody annoying. Um, oh god. Right, how many um, remote mines have I got? Another grand total of one. Wonderful. Three, two, one. Explode. I'm really giving these guys the benefit of the doubt, basically. Um, as I'm backing way the fuck up. I feel like this episode has taken much more than almost any episode. Fuck me. Didn't mean to hit those, <laughs> the old explosive crates, but I did. I feel like, yeah, this has taken more time than any other episode combined. No, not combined. I've been recording for 4 hours and 45 minutes combined, so this episode has not been more than any other episode combined. Okay, right, one more to do, so let's take on the old remote mine. Chuck it there. Fucking hell! Ugh. Well, I'm going to go into the boss fight with naff all health, and I'm sure that's not going to be an additional save point, the boss fight. Why would it be? Because this game's fucking evil. Right. I guess through here we go. Come on. There we go. Hopefully it reloads me back at this point, but I bet it'll fucking reload me back before it, because this game's evil. I like it, but it's fucking evil. My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shadow windows. The communist socialists and fascists will be destined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is blindly simple. A corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but country-wide regions of agricultural industry, energy production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, our new order will be resisted, but we have the ultimate leverage. The nuclear missiles mounted in our iron grottoes and controlled from an unassailable command center, the U.S. Space Defense Platform. Unfortunately, our security has been temporarily breached. Therefore, I've advanced our launch schedule. All flight crews and combat units are to board their shuttles at once and prepare for liftoff. Operation Nightfire has begun. Well, I thought I'd let Drake give his classic villain spiel there while I lasered the rest of his men. The door, as you can see, is over there, but apparently I need to open something before I can get through there. And based on the music, I think I've defeated all the enemies, but I actually can't remember where. Oh, it must be in the security station looking thing over here, which would make a lot of sense. What's my aims on? Because I'm not picking up any of this aims ammo. That's 6 of 6 and 30 of 90, which is max ammo for the aims. Which explains why it's not picking up any ammo. Um, door unlocked. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, and armor. Delicious, beautiful ammo. Ammo, he says. The wonderful hybrid between ammo and armor. 
Oh my god, I fucking suck. How many shots did it take to kill this guy? Jesus Christ. Actually took enough to fucking overload my samurai, so let's just wait for that to reload all the way. Okay. Oh, bugger me. Don't set up the fucking flashbang and look at the floor. There we go. Ugh. I don't know if I killed the guy. Let's find out. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, bugger me. There's more of them. <laughs> that scared the fucking knob off me. Oh my god. Fucking Christ. They just don't stop fucking coming to... Jesus mother... F I mean, this is one of the final levels in the game. The final level is... Actually, arguably, this is the final level because the, fi the actual final level is different to this in a lot of ways. Because this is the real final... Well, you'll see. Note that warning sign there. If I open up here... Yeah, and that warning sign should have really warned us that that was not a great thing to do, was head into the ground where, you know, they're about to take off with rockets, because that will will fuck you up. Um, the real question is, how the fuck do I get out of here? And I can't actually remember. Is it in here? Do I survive in here? That's a hard no on that. Actually struggling to remember what to do on this one. Oh, let's throw a cheeky trip bomb down there. <laughs> hey, that's gonna fuck someone. Oh, that was good. Let's throw another one. Because I know these guys fucking keep coming. Oh my god, this guy there. Oh, that's not... The laser is not pointing in the right direction there at all. Not sure how to deal with that. Um, Let's throw up another one. There. Oh my god, I think I threw it on a man. Oh god. That's <laughs> uh, that's one way of dealing with it. Um, I know these guys keep coming. So, oh bugger! Whoop, neep. There we go. I'm still. I've sealed him in again. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, let's throw another trip mine because I know there's another guy coming. Oh god. Well. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I find the overcharge. Oh shit, bags. Right, let's find that there. Oh. Because you can't stop an overcharge once you start an overcharge, which is a real problem. Um, this guy's coming around there, so let's just wait until we hit zero again, and then... Oh. Sneaky bastard, eh? Oh, bugger me! Oh, there we go. Oh, bugger me! Christ, damn the bicycle. Man, this episode is taking fucking forever. Right, now here what I have to do is basically get into one of the... These things are like safe rooms... They have a lot of ammunition, and I believe they seal shut, he says, question mark. Yeah, there we go. But then you can't use the same room, safe room, I think, twice. Ooh, that's real bright. Holy shit. It's five to one in the morning. That's not okay. Oh, now we have to kill bastards. Oh, ninjas, get the fuck away from me. Oh, no, I've run out of samurai. Oh, bugger. Oh, oh shit, M9K run out too. Ammunition running low on every, every ground. Right, Um, let's grab some more ammunition for the M9K, and then there we go. Did she just say it's over, James? If so, that's, that's not accurate. And we both know it isn't. Oh, there she is in the middle. Um, I'm going to go to the other safe room, just to be sure. Grab some I mean, armor, some ammunition, and some whatever the fuck that's ammunition for. Always nice. Really hope this is going to close. Please close. <laughs> Please clap. Shout out to... Fuck, I want to say Joe Biden. It's not Joe Biden, it's one equally embarrassing. Um, Jeb Bush, that's who it is. Please close. Close. Seal. There we fucking go. Is the other one sealing? I don't know. I can't actually see it from where we are. But I'm fine here.
Right, now we just need to kill enemies one final time. Oh, fucking ninjas, fuck off. It's amazing. <laughs> you remember how much of an issue the ninja was back when we actually fought him in um, Mayhew's thing? This is one of the things this game does really well. Like, it feels really different compared to where you actually, like, started off the game a while ago. The, like, when we were back in Mayhew's place in Japan feels like quite a long time ago. Oh, sweet grapple bond. Up after her. Oh, we know what to do here. Wallop! Hit the bottom, which is the old floor decky manoeuvre. Incinerated by a spacecraft taking off has got to be one of the worst deaths, like, legitimately. Like, the conditions on the launch pad of a rocket are, like, way worse than hell. Like, they are awful. I mean, Kiku's been a shit throughout this game, but fuck it. <laughs> no one deserves that. That's awful. Anyway. Thanks very much for joining me for Countdown, which took like a fucking hour. But we got it done, and I hope you'll join me next episode, next time, for Equinox, the final episode of Nightfire. Thank you very much, and good day.